Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're going to be taking you through the Beautyrest Black Hybrid Collection. Now this is a seven model collection that's part of the overall Beautyrest Black lineup and it was completely redesigned in 2022. So we're excited to show it to you. Stick around. All right, so the first thing you should probably know about Beautyrest Black, other than the fact that it is the top of the line within the overall Beautyrest product portfolio, is that it is divided into two collections. You have the quilted collection, which we cover in a separate video, uh, and then you have the hybrid collection, which was what we're gonna cover in this video. And these hybrid models, you can recognize them uh, when you see them in stores by the model names that end in X. So you have the LX, the CX, and the KX classes, within the Beautyrest Black Hybrid lineup. Uh, overall, as I mentioned, there are seven total models. You have three LX, you have two CX, and two KX. And we generally like to start these videos by talking about what are the features that all of the models within this collection, in this case, the Beautyrest Black Hybrid collection, have in common. And for starters, I think I'm going to lead with the support unit which is not only common to all of the Beautyrest Black hybrids, but it's common to all of the Beautyrest Black mattresses in both the hybrid and quilted sides of the lineup. Uh, but it is basically typified by their famous T3 pocketed coil. So this is uh, essentially a stranded wires, so three strands, in fact, of wires that are woven together just much the way um, the cable you'd see in a suspension bridge is woven together, uh, and they form overall what looks just like any other coil but it is actually comprised of three strands of wire so it makes it quite a bit stronger firmer sturdier uh, and that has really been what has given beautyrest black its sort of trademark support its uh, overall firm support over the years uh, so this has been a kind of a hallmark of beautyrest black for a long time this is present in every Beautyrest Black model. I should point out that not every coil in the Beautyrest Black coil units are these T3 coils because that would actually make the mattresses really too firm. So instead what they do is they, they essentially uh, use alternating rows. So you have uh, one row of T3 coils, then one row of other coils, and then another row of T3 coils. And on top of that, the other thing that they do is those other rows, those every other rows that aren't T3 coils, they will actually vary up from model to model. They have essentially two versions of that other coil, one firmer and one softer, in order to create more variations within the feels of the collections. Again, this is something they do on the quilted side of the lineup as well, but, uh, but also is done on the hybrid side. So a plusher model might use essentially a plusher coil unit on balance because every other row would be this plusher coil than maybe what would be used in every other row of the firmer of a firmer model. So uh, overall, it creates an effect of a uh, little bit more give, a little bit more conformance in those plusher models. Uh, that's one thing that you should know about this coil unit. The second thing you should know about the coil unit, which is new, that last thing is not new. They've been doing that for a long time. But it, what is new is that they've now added zoning to these coil units. So specifically in the center third of the mattress, which is the part of the mattress that supports the heavy, what is the heaviest part of all of our bodies, our hips. And that ultimately is designed to give you more support uh, for this uh, section, this heavier section of your body. So that's now present on, again, all the Beautyrest Black models. And I should also mention that the total number of coils that Beautyrest uses in a queen size Beautyrest Black mattress is 1,260. And it's also inclusive of counting each T3 coil as three separate coils. So in that count, one of these counts as three. And I think that actually is reasonable considering that there are three separate strands of wire used to make each one of these and other brands in many cases who either use coil on coil or coil in coil will count those as multiple coils. So it seems like in terms of being apples to apples with how many other brands would count this, that, that does seem like a reasonable change. However, it is something do, new and different that Beautyrest has not done before. So if you're comparing this to coil counts you may have seen for the Beautyrest Black collection in the past, that is a change. Uh, and the other thing I should note about the coil count is that the, the number of coils they use, obviously they're not using coils where they have foam perimeter. So that's the other thing you should know about this overall support unit is that there is a four inch foam perimeter going around all four sides of the mattress. It is just basically sturdy, firmer foam to give the mattress a, a stronger edge for either sitting on it as I am now or lying on it. Uh, they call it beauty edge. 
uh, but that's what it is, four inches of firm foam going around the edge. And obviously that reduces the number of coils needed. In many cases, brands will essentially gross up the coil count to reflect uh, what the total number of coils would be if coils went edge to edge. In this case, uh, they, they're not doing that. So in terms of the coil density, which is actually what you should really care about if you're thinking about coil count, meaning the number of coils used per square foot of this mattress, that number 1260 kind of underrepresents the overall coil density in this mattress. So that basically constitutes the bottom nine and a half inches of every one of these mattresses, and no matter whether it's LX, CX, or KX. Now, the top of the mattress is the other place where there are some common features across all of these Beautyrest Black Hybrid mattresses. Uh, and the first thing you'll notice, I'll start out with, is, is the stretch cover. So this stretch cover is actually part of how Beautyrest defines even what a hybrid is. Uh, generally speaking, in the Beautyrest vernacular, a hybrid is a mattress that uses a stretch cover, and then beneath that cover, you're going to find premium comfort materials like memory foam. Um, so, so this kind of a, of a design is gonna be common to everything that Beautyrest calls a hybrid. Uh, now, what you have here in the case of this particular uh, stretch cover, it's a cover that has some antimicrobial properties, and on top of that, it's got some cashmere uh, in the fabric, which gives it some additional softness. And the other thing that these stretch covers have in common is that they're all infused with something that Beautyrest calls black ice. Now, this is essentially a phase change material. This is, which phase change material may be something you've heard us talk about in other videos. Uh, sometimes it's uh, abbreviated as PCM. And phase change material basically is a cooling uh, element that allows you, that, that, that introduces some coolness to the touch, as well as some kind of initial cooling while you're first lying down on the mattress. And it works by basically, it's tiny little microscopic wax beads that essentially, as the heat from your body reaches them, they turn from, the, the contents of those wax beads turn from a solid to a liquid. And as they change phases from a solid to a liquid, that is essentially allowing heat to be pulled away from your body, which creates a cooling sensation. Uh, the normal way that phase change material is made is with the use of petroleum. And in this case, they're substituting petroleum for canola oil. And that allows these, these, this particular version of phase change material to be essentially uh, a more natural approach to providing the benefits of phase change material. They call that black ice. And I should just point out that black ice, if you've watched previous coverage that we've done, of Beautyrest Black and Beautyrest Black Hybrid. In the past, they've used the term black ice to refer to a type of memory foam. Uh, that's no longer how they use that term. It's now, it just refers to the phase change material, which in this case is actually infused into this cover fabric. Okay, so that is common across all of these mattresses. And the last thing that is common across all these Beautyrest Black Hybrid mattresses is that right below this cover is one inch of air cool memory foam. Now, air cool memory foam, this is just a term that Beautyrest uses to refer to this particular memory foam that, as you can see, is very slow responding. It's a higher density memory foam, um, and you can just see it's, it's got a lot of that kind of ooey gooey, um, slow melting type of uh, sensation to it that really memory foam is, tends to be known for. So that memory foam, one inch of that is directly below the cover on every single one of these Beautyrest Black Hybrids. And then below that air cool memory foam layer, you're gonna have, in each case, at least one and a half inches of other high density memory foam right below that. So uh, two and a half inches, essentially right up at the top of all these Beautyrest Black Hybrids. And in general, a, a total of anywhere from two and a half to four inches of memory foam in these mattresses. So that's really gonna give you a lot of that memory feel, as well as a lot of the pressure relieving benefits that that memory foam brings. And the last thing I'll note in terms of commonalities across all the models in this collection is, is aesthetically, they all use a very similar uh, color scheme. In fact, it's a lot more uniformity than they've had between the different classes in the past. The way they distinguish visually the different classes now is really just this little coloring here. So right now I'm on a K-class model, which is the top of the line, and you can see this gold striping here. The C-class, this would have kind of a rose colored, kind of pinkish red stripe here. And on the L class, it would be a dark gray uh, striping here. So otherwise quite similar in general to in just terms of the visuals. Uh, and also in terms of the, the overall cover, they do also all have these functional handles that you can use to maneuver the mattress as needed.
All right, now we're gonna shift gears and get into some of the specific models within this Beautyrest Black Hybrid Collection. And we're gonna start at the entry level with the models that are named LX. There are three of them. There's a firm, a medium, and a plush. Uh, all of these LX mattresses are gonna have three to four inches of total memory foam in them. In fact, uh, the firm is gonna have three inches and the medium and the plush are gonna have four total inches. In terms of their feel characteristics, one thing I should just preface this with is by explaining that feel characteristics are things that cannot be inherently better or worse. They can only be better or worse for your personal preferences. Um, and we, let's start with softness. And I should also preface this by saying that we do draw a distinction between what we call softness and what we call cushioning depth. Uh, softness uh, is basically how soft or firm is a mattress when you, you know, experience it lying down on it, pushing into it, that type of thing. Cushioning depth has to do with how deeply you sink into the mattress, how closely it conforms to your body, how much it conforms to your body, and so forth. Now, oftentimes manufacturers kind of uh, think of those two things as one and the same, but we do draw a distinction and classify mattresses separately on those uh, variables, and that sometimes does result in softness classifications that will differ from how a manufacturer names their product. And this is an example here, particularly with memory foam mattresses is where this happens most. Uh, so we would classify the firm and the medium mattresses both as a firm on our softness spectrum. But as it relates to their cushioning depth, we would classify the firm as kind of average cushioning depth, meaning kind of a perfect blend, if you will, between sleeping in your mattress and sleeping on your mattress, uh, or getting that hugged or cradled sensation versus floating above your mattress sensation. So that's, a, that's kind of average or medium on that cushioning depth, whereas this medium one is uh, slightly deeper than average cushioning. So, so what Beautyrest is referring to by calling it a medium instead of a firm is that you're getting more conformance, more cushioning depth, and we did observe that. This plush one we would actually call a medium, and it would also have, in terms of its cushioning depth, the deepest cushioning depth of the three. We would consider that to be definitely deeper than average cushioning. So you're going to get the most sleeping in your mattress, hugged or cradled sensation of the three LX models on this one right here. In terms of the memory feel, we would say probably all of these have above average memory feel. Uh, certainly these two, that's how we would classify them as slightly above average amount of memory feel. The plush model we would classify as well above average amount of memory feel. Uh, and in terms of bounce, we probably classify all of these as right around average amount of bounce. Uh, so essentially what you have is the deep bounce coming from the coils, but then that's a bit offset by the shock absorption qualities of the memory foam on top. So overall, it averages out or balances out to about a medium amount of bounce. In the case of the plush model, maybe even slightly less than a medium amount of bounce. All right, so now we've moved up to the CX models, which is the second of the three levels within this Beautyrest Black Hybrid collection. And when you step up to the CX level, there are two additional features that get added in each of these models. Uh, number one is you get a half inch of latex. What uh, actually Beautyrest calls self-response latex, but essentially latex, as you may know from other videos we've done, is uh, a very quick responding material. Uh, it's, it's got good pressure relieving characteristics. It also has innately good airflow because it's generally made, as this example shows, with what's called pin core holes that allow air to flow vertically through each uh, layer of latex. So uh, it's got a number of good uh, properties to it. Um, also adds some kind of buoyancy and responsiveness to the mattress. There's gonna be a half inch layer, this is actually bigger than a half inch, but a half inch layer of this material in every one of the CX and above uh, mattresses in the hybrid collection. Uh, the other material that is present in CX level and above is this blended material that's made from apaca wool, cashmere, and silk. And they're woven together to create this, this layer that is surprisingly, has a surprising amount of resilience to it. Um, I would have thought that those three materials woven together would just basically feel like a thick sweater. Uh, but this thing here actually is about an inch thick and it, it actually is an inch thick, like it holds to an inch. Um, but nonetheless, what's it, what it adds to the mattress is airflow. Uh, so these are obviously natural materials, which is also a nice element to this. But by weaving them together in this way, this is a, a very air permeable uh, material ultimately. And that, that having this present in the mattress uh, does enhance the airflow characteristics and therefore it is a cooling 
uh, element of these mattresses. So in terms of the specific models at this CX level, there are two. There's the medium, which is the one I'm on now, and then there's the plush. In terms of their softness levels, we classify the medium as a medium firm on our softness spectrum, though it's at the softer end of that, so it's real close to what we call a straight up medium. Whereas the plush, we'd call a medium soft, which is our classification just to the softer side of medium. In terms of the cushioning depth, I'd say both of these are kind of on the deeper than average cushioning side of the spectrum. Uh, however, the plush is certainly deeper than the medium. And in terms of the memory feel, likewise, the plush has a little bit more memory feel. It has also a little more memory foam. It has four inches of memory foam. This one has two and a half. But nonetheless, we would classify both of them as having uh, roughly the same amount of memory feel. We call it uh, above average amount of memory feel. Uh, and in terms of bounce, we call them both around average, though I'd probably say that the plush is slightly below average just because the amount of memory foam in that one really absorbs more of the bounce at the top of the mattress. So on balance, that one ends up having less overall bounce, but they're both roughly in the kind of middle of the bounce spectrum. And one thing I should note just as a general comment uh, that applies to all the mattresses in this collection is as we've described in other videos we've done, in terms of the fit of these mattresses for your body, in terms of delivering the proper spinal alignment that you need, we would generally say that mattresses with uh, less cushioning depth and less softness are gonna tend to be a better match for people who are stomach sleepers, as well as people who are a little bit heavier, whereas mattresses with a little bit more cushioning depth, more conformance, more softness, will tend to offer better characteristics for people who are side sleepers, as well as people who are a little on the lighter side. People who are back sleepers tend to need something a little bit more in the middle, as do people who are more of a sort of average weight. Um, but let's say, just take back sleepers. Back sleepers have a little bit more latitude to accommodate their preferences insofar as they can get proper spinal alignment on a maybe a slightly wider range of softness levels and cushioning depths. But overall, they're looking at that middle ground. And that would apply, so that, that hopefully that framework helps you think about fit as it relates to all the mattresses that we're describing in this video. All right, so now we've moved up to the top of the line within the Beautyrest Black Hybrid Collection, which are gonna be the models that are named KX. There's a firm and a plush. Uh, and in terms of the features, these are gonna generally be the thickest, tallest mattresses within this Beautyrest Black Hybrid Collection, because they're gonna be packed with the most premium materials. And one new material that you're going to add at this level are these, which are called nano coils. That's what they call them. Sometimes we call them micro coils. Essentially what they are is little pocketed coils. They're about one inch tall in this case or so. Uh, and you can see they also have a smaller diameter, about the size of a quarter or so. Uh, and basically what they're doing though is performing sort of a supportive function, but because of their smaller diameter and generally being a little bit more flexible, a little, a little softer, uh, they, they also sort of perform a comfort role. So they have a dual sort of semi-supportive, semi-comforting role, but they certainly, because of the small diameter of them, also afford a lot more conformance than the pocketed coils are provide that are in the support unit. So basically these are gonna be located generally down further into the mattress, closer to that support unit to just kind of add some conformance at that level of the mattress. Of course, the materials above that, like memory foam and so forth, are generally gonna be also very conforming. Um, so this will just be enhancing that characteristic. Um, in terms of the feels of these two mattresses, you're gonna have, first of all, you're gonna have about three and a half total inches of memory foam in the firm and, and four in the plush. And these are gonna be the highest density memory foams that BD Rest offers. So uh, that's part of also what you're getting here at this KX level. In terms of how we classify them, we would classify the firm as a medium firm and the plush here as a soft. So there's quite a distinction in terms of the feels available at this level. Uh, in terms of the cushioning depth, we would classify the firm as slightly deeper than average cushioning. In spite of it being a medium firm, it does offer quite a bit of conformance, uh, but not as much as you're gonna get on this plush model, where this is what we would consider to be very deep cushioning. So the maximum amount of uh, sort of sinkage, hugged or cradled sensation, as well as the maximum amount of conformance to your curves. Uh, so in terms of the memory feel, we would say both of them, again, are above average, but certainly the, uh, Plush here is gonna have the most memory feel uh, of the two of them. It's gonna have 
certainly in a, a, what we call a, a, a well above average amount of memory feel. And then in bounce, they're both gonna be right around a medium again in terms of the bounce because of that kind of hybrid combination of shock absorbing memory foam and bouncing coils below. So it kind of nets out to that medium level in both cases. All right, now just a few things I wanted to mention here that I maybe should have mentioned even up front. Uh, number one is we do cover the quilted mattresses from the Beautyrest Black Collection in a separate video. And you'll notice if you watch that video that there's a lot of commonality now between that collection and this collection, not only in the design, but also in terms of the step ups as you move through from L to C to K, uh, what you're getting, what's getting added to the mattresses uh, as you do that. So that's something that uh, Beautyrest has really made a concerted effort to unify in their recent redesign of these models. Uh, the other thing I should have mentioned is that we did cover all seven of the options within this Beautyrest Black Hybrid collection, but you should know that most retailers are not going to have all seven of these models. So we wanted to make sure that you're aware of the full scope and breadth of this lineup, but be just, just be aware that in any given retailer and your local retailer in particular may have only a portion of these models. The last thing I'll note is that we threw a lot of information at you in this video, particularly in terms of how we classify these models. There's a whole lot more information about how we classify these models. And you, even the information that we provided in this video, I think you'll have a lot easier time digesting if you go to our website and use our compare feature where you can actually put these things side by side against each other and see exactly what I was saying, but in a much more clear visual way than we were able to provide in this video. So check that out at goodbed.com. In the meantime, we do hope you found this to be a helpful overview of the Beautyrest Black Hybrid Collection. We thank you for watching and we hope you sleep well. Thank you.